today we're taking a deeper look at our Genesis Acolyte Warrior NFTs that just went live. I'll be going over the characters in depth and I'll answer some of the frequently asked questions. Now to pick up one of our Genesis Acolyte Warriors, you can purchase our Skull Pass NFT. And when you purchase the Skull Pass, an Acolyte Warrior will be airdropped to you where you can find that in your hidden folder once you connect your wallet to OpenSea. There are five rarity tiers for the Warriors. We got Common, Rare, Epic, Legendary, and Mythic. Rarity type will not impact in-game attributes. So if you got a Mythic Fighter versus a Common Fighter, just because you have a Mythic Fighter doesn't mean that that is always gonna be the stronger fighter. So rarity terror will not matter for attribute, but it will matter in the future for improved reward. So any fighter can be a great fighter in the battle world arena by design. And then the more rare fighters will start to accumulate more rewards down the road. All right, we're gonna head over here to open C, take a look through here, 2,500 Acolyte Warriors, not all of them minted so far. Now, let's take a look at one of my favorite characters. We got the beautiful Anya character right here. This is, to me, one of the sickest characters. It is one of the mythics. So, 2,500 were sent out, or will be sent out. A hundred of them are mythics. So, we got this beautiful Anya right here, which is a squid. You can see 20% of the items are squid. 4% have the purple background trait here. So, that is very rare. And these are all the Genesis generation. And then in future drops, those will be different generations. So to me, you probably want to have some of these Genesis characters. And then you can see part one, part two, part three, part four with will have your color. And this one is unique because it's all taunt purples. So not all mythics are going to have that taunt purple. But you can see the glowing arms, the this sick helmet right here, the glowing eyes, the glowing body parts. I mean, to me right here, this character is looks incredible and... And I love this one. All right, let's take a look at my my pride and joy, which is one of the NFTs that I actually minted. So you can see here, it's different from Anya in that it has two taunt gold. So we don't know what that means. So some body parts could be all taunt purple. This is still a mythic, but it has two body parts that are taunt purple and two that are taunt gold. I kind of like, I love the contrast right here. I mean, this character looks like a beast. Uh, I don't know if just because this guy's big, then he, he's not going to be able to beat everybody. So, but looks like a menacing creature, and I am very excited about this one. Now, right here, you can see one of our beautiful scales, and this is Saba. Shout out to our co-founder, Saba, who, this guy kind of looks like Saba, too. Saba, uh, uh, yeah, you know, big, I mean, it really does look like Saba. So this right here, once again, you can see has three taunt purples and then one gold. So it's got the little taunt gold head there with the three gold purples. So once again, I'm interested to see if people like one rarity tear more than others. Are they going to want all purple? Are they going to want some gold in there? But yeah, I mean, this character, I love the design. I love the scales. The, the, the feet look nice. It, uh, yeah, it looks, looks very, very sick. Really like this design of this squid. Or I'm sorry, of this scale. Kind of just browse through here in the open sea, looking at some of the fighters. We got Skos Trinunce, and this character looks sick. I don't know what this thing is, but this looks awesome. I really like this one, this crazy looking head. With, uh, I mean, this character looks sick. I really do like the two gold. This one's three gold, interesting. So this is a three gold, one purple one. So you can see right here, one of our white heads, and this one's actually called Alpha. So I saw some people in our Discord being fired up about this. This is the white hair race. This one has one taunt purple and then once again, three taunt gold. But yeah, I really like this look. Uh, it looks like the summoning some type of energy source right there. I like what I'm seeing right there. Looks kind of like a, I, I don't think this could beat the scale. Let's scale look like it would beat the shit out of this character. So here we have one of our humans, which is our last race. And this looks like more of like a karate kind of guy. Uh, I like the little ponytail he's got going on here. Nice long hair, that red headband the purple waistband. So this one is also a mythic and my man's got one taunt purple and then three taunt gold. I guess I see the gold here around the arms and uh, but yeah, I think for some, for some characters, it's not necessarily gonna show in the same way, but it will still apply in terms of the game. But yeah, like in this character right here, so I actually found this one interesting. This is, this is Ruin, Ruin's an undeath and Ruin 
is a mythic but has all taunt gold body parts so very curious to see how that's possible and then what that means in the game but you can see i like this costume looks like he was kind of killed in battle like a warrior killed in battle he's got the uh, he's got the arrow sticking out of his body he looks like he got scrapes maybe he's like blown up or something like that in a past life and uh now my man's resurrected back from the dead looks like maybe some type of roman warrior here you can see right here we got avon and this character looks incredible right here so this is once again a squid three purples with that gold hat i really like the contrast in the gold but yeah this character looks pretty sick this little move right here nice summon kind of looks like like a an egyptian squid with like a like a, like a hat on or something like that. so also keep in mind that in future versions of the battle world you'll be able to purchase nft wearables and skins and boost for your characters so stay tuned for, the, for that in the future now we can head on over to our discord we see dorito bandino with barca gareth kazuki i saw mia bliss and valhalla post 10 warriors i saw jam nwo post this beautiful mythic squid two purple two taunt purple two taunt gold as you can see a lot of people are very excited about their warriors in the Valhalla chat. Shout out to everyone who got theirs. Hang tight onto those. The battle world awaits to you soon. We got Ladari here showing off three mythics and four legendaries. So Ladari got a, a beautiful stable here. And also we see that beautiful Anya character. So the next step for Taunt is to release our V1 Alpha battle world where where the warriors will start to compete against each other we'll be opening up that registration process to our members in Valhalla in our discord that is for genesis skull pass holders only warriors will compete one-on-one -on -one auto battler style against each other you'll select your rune before going into battle and uh, there will be no entry fees into the battles for genesis skull pass holders and the prize pool for the entire preseason which will last about three months is going to be about a hundred thousand dollars we'll have more information about that coming in the near future we are very interested in what you the community have to say so if you have any ideas suggestions feedback please let us know that's how we will improve here at taunt thanks for watching make sure you subscribe to the channel and we'll see you again soon